Hi there, I'm Lee, welcome to iMindBlocks. In today's video, I shall be unboxing the Trezor Model T. So I'm a very lucky guy, I'm fortunate enough to have a advanced preview of one of these new hardware wallets. So this was kindly sent over by Satoshi Labs and I'm gonna share an unboxing with you guys. So my one came with this little thank you card note and it's just a note from the CEO read it there and just says uh, thank you for taking a look at it they've put a lot of work into this device and we hope that we are uh, pleased with the the final creation so that was a nice little touch there so the box is black and white cardboard box that appears to be wrapped in a it's like a cellophane kind of wrap I'll be opening that in just a second and just on the back there you can see a few of the features and also the coins that it supports so it supports all of the primary or most common coins, as well as uh, Ethereum tokens. And you can also use it for two-factor authentication as well. So it's got quite a lot of um, different features and user parts. So let's open it up. And um, I'm quite eager to get inside this. I've seen a, a couple of screenshots, but I've not seen one in person yet. So I'm quite excited to open this up and take a look inside. So let's get this wrapper off. So we've got that out of the way. And you might be able to see now, it's quite faint, but this part here, we've got this padlock logo, and there's also this Trezor, which is kind of embossed into the card. You can't see it very well in the camera light, and also to the eye, it's quite difficult to see, but it is on there. So that's our first look at it. The safe place for your coins. So it looks cool. Uh, let's open up the rest of it. I guess we, uh, it's got this little tad bit on the bottom here. There's nothing on there. Nothing on the back. So let's open up this little tab piece. Cool, and there it is. I'll take that in a moment. So at the top, we've just got some instructions to get started. One, two, three. Um, so it's my understanding that with these uh, devices, they are shipped without any firmware. So we need to plug that in at some point. I'll be doing that in a later follow-up video, which will be more of a detailed instruction guide. Uh, and flashing the phone and getting the first use of it. Uh, let's take a look at the device itself. They've got a this little piece in the back here. I'll talk about that in just a second, but it seems to be magnetic. I don't know if that's the box or the device, but one part, as I'm just taking it out of there, it's got a magnetic feel to it. So I don't know if, yeah, I'll check and confirm if it is the device or, or, the, or the packaging. Let's take a look at the Model T itself. So it's slightly bigger than the old one. The screen is slightly bigger as well. With the old one as well, one of the things that I noticed is that this has a gloss finish screen. The old one was more of like an older LCD technology and had just like a matte finish. This has got a glossy finish on the screen. You can see the light rolling backwards and forwards there. I've got the logo at the top. Slightly chunkier than the old one. Also, this supports micro uh, SD memory cards. Uh, I've not looked into the exact features of that, but um, I know that's one of the features that was asked for and they've included into it. The device itself is quite plain. There's not much else going on, except at the bottom, you've got this Trezor hologram security seal, and that covers up the USB port just on the end there, like I say. So that's an indication that this device is safe and it's not being tampered with in any way that's kind of your own personal uh, guide so that you know that no one else has tampered with it before your arrival we'll just put this to the side and we'll take a look at the rest of this uh, box so in the box itself it says that we have a usb cable a recovery card and manual So we have the USB cable, it's a short USB cable. There's a few uh, stickers and graphics and a getting started guide and also a little cardboard paper tag uh, for recovering our seed phrase. So we'll be using that um, in the later video. Also included, so this is like a bonus. So it's, they call it a dock and we can place this anywhere. So this is what I was saying about this magnetic piece. Um, I wasn't sure exactly what that was at first, 
but they've included a little kind of extra bonus piece for you. So this is like a nice um, surprise actually. So I guess this is magnetic and it's got some adhesive on the back so we can remove that and stick it to somewhere. And then I guess we can kind of clip our treasure to this little piece. So if you want to keep that somewhere, we just kind of almost, I mean, it's not gonna be like a wireless dock, but if we just want to kind of keep it somewhere safe or just kind of like an easy access placement. So that's quite a nice little extra bonus feature. I'm not too sure in reality whether I'd make good use of that, but it's nice that they've included something extra. Um, so it's a nice little extra surprise. So that's a nice touch uh, from the Trezor or Satoshi Labs team. Okay guys, so I'm gonna leave it here for now. So this has been me unboxing the new Trezor Model T hardware wallet. If you'd like to see me setting this up and going for the first uh, initial setup and how to get your coins on and off for the device, uh, be sure to check out my full up video, which will be uploaded shortly. Uh, that's it for this one. Hopefully you've been liked it. Any questions or comments, please put those in the comments area below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next one, thanks for watching.